Hi guys, hopefully this is the last update now before we get the van out sliding. I've had the van over to the garage and we managed to get some of the stuff done that I was talking about in the last video. I'll take you for a look around and show you what I've been up to. Uh, the first thing that they did when I got over there was to sort out the front arches. They were made wider at the front. So this gap's bigger. So when you turn in it's not hitting this anymore. And we also made them higher as well. We had made them higher here because the back was actually a lot lower than the front and it looked a bit silly because the front was pointing up in the air. So yeah, I mean, it looks a lot better now. I'm happy with the ride height now at the moment. Under the bonnet, nothing's really changed. Apart from we've fitted a new fuse for the engine fan. The engine's fan from a Volvo and it does use pull a lot of power. It is quite a powerful fan. It moves a lot of air, so the, the old fuse was melting again. The old melting problem that I had with the old, old fuse box inside the car. So I fitted an audio fuse. Um, I don't know if you can see that down there, it's a bit dark, but I fitted an audio fuse for the fan and the problem seems to have gone away. The fuse doesn't get hot anymore. Um, I've slightly moved the position of the oil cooler under the wheel as well because uh, when we were turning the wheels seemed to be catching the oil cooler under there again it's uh, it's a bit hard to see there it's a bit dark but I've done that as well um, inside the seats are now bottled into place both of them in there uh, again they've just got covers on just to keep them clean while I'm working on it we sorted out the battery box the battery box all nice and neat now behind the passenger seat just tidied up some of the wiring down there again now it's all bolted in should be all okay now um, I've, uh, made the dark cards look a bit nicer put lots of a finish on them with some sandpaper That'll look a bit better now fit of the rubber on the opening quarter area yeah. it's not the real one for it but I mean you can't find these anymore, they're really difficult to find if you can find them, I don't know where to find them, so I fitted this, it's not bad, it's better than what was done there before, the rubber was all brittle and breaking up, it was useless, so this is a lot better, although, I mean, it's not, as you can see, it's not perfect, it doesn't close and seal perfectly, but it's a lot better. This morning I've been messing about with the clutch, Last week when I, take it, when I took it out for a drive, uh, it was difficult to get into gear sometimes. It was like it was, the clutch wasn't going far enough. So what I've done is I've modified the slave cylinder arm, made it a little bit longer. Because uh, there seemed to be too much free play here. Yeah. I mean, there seems to be still quite a lot of free play there now, but it is a lot better now. Uh, it does go into gear a lot better when you push the clutch. Uh, at the back, Again, I fitted some new tyres on there. We didn't go for the expensive ones like on the front. These are just the DZ102 Dunlops. Uh, there's not a lot of point in putting good tyres on the back just to burn them off. Uh, messed about with the geometry. Got the geometry a bit better. On the back now, we've got two degrees camber. Um, probably have to go lower than that, I'm not sure. But we'll leave it at two degrees for the time being. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, hopefully the next video that I upload to YouTube will be of the van going sideways. So stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.